If you're a photographer, how would you like a Facebook ad strategy that gets you and your brand in front of your ideal client faster than you've ever done before? It's super easy. I'm going to show you how. It's Andrew Helmich here from PhotoBizX. If you're happy to use video like this one, super simple, using a phone, you can use your camera if you want to, but you're able to get yourself on video and share great content with your clients, that's the very first step. And what you want to do is create four or five videos sharing your best advice to help your prospective clients. And when you think about advice, think of the kind of things that you share with a client once they've actually booked you. So don't save that stuff. Put that onto video. They only need to be two, three, four minutes long. You don't need to be salesy. You just want to be helpful. So that's the very first step. Create your four or five videos being super helpful for your prospective clients. The next step is to upload those four or five videos to your Facebook page timeline. Then what you do is go into your Facebook ads manager, create a separate video views campaign for each of those videos that you've just uploaded. And you use the Facebook targeting to go after your ideal clients. So set the age parameters, the right demographics, the right areas that you cover or that you service, and get those ads actually competing with each other, those, those five videos competing with each other to your target audience. Run that for about three to five dollars per day per video going to the same audiences. This is your test period. And what we're looking for after five days is one winning video. Which video was the most consumed by your audience? Which one resonated the most? And you can check that inside Ads Manager. Look for the videos that had the highest percentage of 100% or 75% views. That is your winning video. Now, what you do is you stop all the other videos from running and you up the budget on your winning video to something that you're comfortable with. You, know, you could leave it at $5 a day, for example. And then the other videos that lost to the winning video, let's say there's four of them, they're all gonna go into a retargeting campaign that gets served to the people who continue to watch 25, 50, 75, or 100% of the winning video. So what you have now is pretty exciting. You have one winning video getting served to your ideal clients that you know they love. And then anytime someone watches some or all of that video, they go into your retargeting campaign audience and they go on to see the other four videos that you've already created. So you're not doubling up with the work and you know that those retargeting videos are getting served to your ideal clients. So you're constantly getting in front of your ideal clients. You're getting your brand out there, which is yourself. You're sharing your best tips and content. And in every one of those videos, you're having a call to action and a link to your website or a landing page where they can go on to learn more about you. Whoa, that sun's come right out now. <laughs> Look, so hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully that makes sense. Shoot me a message or leave a comment below if you need more clarification on this. But the very first step is to get comfortable being yourself on video so you can actually create the content to help your prospective clients. To do that, come and join me in the daily vlog challenge. It is the best way to get comfortable being yourself on video. You don't need to have some massive personality. You don't need to be an extrovert. I'm just going to help you to be yourself, to get comfortable being you on video so you can create these kinds of videos to help your prospective clients. So to learn more about the daily vlog challenge, click on the link in the description and hopefully I'll see you in one of the upcoming challenges soon. Alrighty, it's Andrew Helmich here from PhotoBizX. I'll chat to you soon. Bye for now. See ya.